Tidones. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, silly! Don't you embarrass us! Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it! Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, uh, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh, I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. So long. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll? Uh huh. Get it up. Oi, lads, fancy an outing to find that shoe. <laughs> Move it. Fox on a lot of you.
Go, go. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. Happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through.
Come on now. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. So long. <coughs> Ooh. Ah. Fuck. Let's go. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous. Brave men. They'll help me. 
Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Grada. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire, abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. <laughs>